So here's a quick tutorial on how to make procedural rocks in Blender. Create a curve, add geometry nodes, resample the curve by length and convert it to a mesh. Add a split edges and a scale element. Set it to edges so we can make these overlap. Convert it back to a curve and use a set position node. Multiply a position by zero on the x and y axis. Then add a curve to mesh node and use a curve circle as a profile. Capture the position of the splines before the set position node. Use a separate XYZ and use the X value for the size of the curve to mesh node. Triangulate the mesh and add the dual mesh. You could use a random value node to switch between two different triangulation methods. Add another set position after that and use a noise texture in the offset to distort the shape a bit. You could use a subdivision before the set position to get more detail from the noise. Then use a mesh to volume and a volume to mesh node. Then add another set position node and use the noise texture again. To add stratification lines, duplicate the noise displacement, use a position in the vector and multiply the position on the set value to squash the noise texture into these lines. Then you can add a set shade smooth node and join the original curve at the end so we can see the curve in the viewport. Then create a new material and assign it to the mesh with a set material node. Then use PBR rock textures and use object coordinates and box project. We can add some fake detail with the bump, so use a noise texture and squash it again with the mapping node and use it as a height factor in the bump node. Then use a Voronoi texture and set it to distance to edge. Increase the contrast with a color ramp. Use a mix RGB set to linear light to distort the Voronoi texture with a noise texture. This will give us this crack pattern. Use a ambient occlusion, invert the contrast and select the crevices like this. You can use this now as the factor of a hue saturation value node to darken the crevices like this. You can also use the bump as the normal of the ambient occlusion to get more detail. And if you want to change the color of the rock texture, use a map range node to turn it gray and use a mix RGB node set to overlay to select your color. So that's how to make a procedural rock and blender. Or if you don't like nodes, you can just get my nature generator add-on, which is a library of a bunch of procedural assets just like this one with all the settings in a simple UI.